Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Charlene McKenna has revealed she secretly welcomed her first child with her husband Adam Rothenberg. The Peaky Blinders star, 40, shared that she gave birth to a daughter named Martha Josephine back in March. Sharing the news during an interview with Kay Sheehy on RT Radio 1, Charlene said she was busy with a new production and a beautiful production of her own. She said, I think it's an incredibly special and poignant and beautiful production, if I do say so myself. During the interview, Charlene offered some insight into her life as a new mother with her husband Adam, who she married in 2021. I had a little baby, so I've been kind of out of the loop for a long time now. I've just been in nesting mode and enjoying my little girl. She's just, she's very special, she added. Charlene, who starred as Laura McKee in the fifth and sixth series of Peaky Blinders, previously admitted that she still lives with the existential terror that her acting work will dry up. She told The Sun, I still live with the existential terror and dread it will go away. And everybody is like, are you taking time off, and I am taking time going, don't go away though. You feel nervous taking time off because you're like, will that be it then? You're going, I only wanted a few weeks lads and it's a year later. What's the saying? You don't retire, the industry retires you. The news comes as fellow Peaky Blinders star Sophie Rundle also revealed on Sunday that she'd given birth to her second child, a baby boy. Sophie shared a series of photos with her newborn as she gushed that she was riding this heavenly wave of perfect love. He's here. I am fully ready and expecting to nosedive off the hormonal cliff edge at any moment but for now I am riding this heavenly wave of perfect love, she told her followers. I only want to stay in this bed, tending to my exhausted happy bones, sniffing his delicious head and grandly announcing that he is wearing an archival look from the 2021 collection every time I put him in one of his brother's old baby grows. I am perhaps a tad delirious at this point. Oh wow, the love the love the love. She added a special thanks to the incredible team at at Stroud Maternity for bringing him here so safely and happily and for looking after us so expertly, we are so grateful. The actress, 35, previously confirmed she was expecting her second child during an appearance on the one show in January, before sharing photos of her bump in April. She captioned the April Instagram snap, firmly in my mama cast trimester as fans rushed to congratulate the star. Meanwhile, Sophie also took to her Instagram story as she wrote, Big ol' baby number two incoming. Ain't that a nice thing? The expectant mother, who already shares three-year-old son Henry with her husband, confessed that she had forgotten whether the public knew she was expecting. She explained, I forget who I have and haven't told at this point because I've been busy trying to remember what a waistband is and stop my three-year-old using my belly like a trampoline but, Big ol' baby number two incoming. Ain't that a nice thing? Sophie starred as heavily pregnant PC Joanna Marshall in her thriller After the Flood which aired back in January. She starred alongside her real-life husband, who played PC Marshall's police officer husband Pat Holman in the show, and it seems the fake and real pregnancy almost overlapped. During an appearance on the one show, I am now pregnant in real life. So this is starting to feel like the longest pregnancy any human woman has ever endured. Sophie revealed that wearing the fake bump nearly put her off having another child as she added, I wasn't pregnant then, had a big fake bump and I think I was sort of put off when I had the fake bump then enough time had passed and now I'm going in for more. Sophie opened up about her pregnancy cravings as she confessed she has been indulging in pizza hot sauce during her second pregnancy. She wrote on Instagram, finally shout out to a tubby toms who, when I asked him for more pizza hot sauce, absolutely understood the needs of a heavily pregnant woman and sent me these gems. A hero and an artist. Sophie found fame as PC Kirsten McCaskill in Happy Valley but met an extremely gruesome end at the hands of psychopath Tommy Lee Royce. She then went on to play Ada Shelby in BBC H.